Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be filming my September favorites. I hope you guys had a good September. September for me was kind of like a little bit rough. I changed jobs, so I've been adjusting to that. My whole sleeping schedule has completely changed, so I'm still adjusting and a lot of things are just happening. I'm super, super excited for October because I am heading back to Japan and I am so freaking excited. I think about it every single day. Pretty much right now, I'm just saving up just for spending money and I'm gonna be vlogging when I go back, which is very, very exciting. It's a vacation that I seriously just need. We're gonna be spending two weeks there, so yeah, I'm like super pumped for that and I can't wait to vlog because vlogging while you're on vacation and vlogging when you're home, it's two completely different things and I am just so pumped to share my experience with you guys once again. So yeah, I guess that's the most exciting thing in October and it's just really crazy how it's already October now. But anyway, I have a couple of favorites here that I want to share with you guys. This month is honestly not too big, but all in all, everything here that I'm going to mention, I love. So if you guys are interested in hearing some of my favorites, then just continue watching. So the first favorite of mine will have to be Twitter. I recently made a Twitter account. So if you guys have Twitter and you want to give me a follow, my username is Judy C Tweets. I don't have many tweets. I think I have like 30 tweets or something. It's a funny story why I joined Twitter. Like I've been thinking about joining Twitter, but I hear so many negative things about Twitter. Like everyone says like Twitter, it's such a negative space to be on and I'm not about that life, but I was trying to find DPR live tickets um, for Sydney because I missed out on them. I honestly didn't expect it to sell out so quick, but it did. If you guys don't know who DPR live is, he's like a Korean rapper and I want to go see him live because I love all his music. I went on Twitter like trying to find resale tickets. Me and my my friend ended up finding resale tickets. She got someone to sell it to her through like a Facebook page. And that's another exciting thing. In December, I will be heading to Sydney like for four days for the concert. So I know a couple of you guys do live in Sydney because I chat to a lot of you guys on Instagram and I low key know where you kind of live. It'll be cool if I could like meet some of you guys in there. But yeah, I thought I would mention it. I do have a Twitter account now. So if you guys want to send like video suggestions or just like want to chat to me like a very quick instant way, hit me up on Twitter. So now let's talk about actual tangible favorites. The first favorite I have is the Tatcha the Deep Cleanse. So if you guys watch my last favorite, I mentioned the water cream. So the water cream and the cleanser came in a little duo for like like $40. I've been using the cleanser and the water cream in conjunction. I've actually finished the water cream. The deep cleanser, I'm still like halfway through. It takes a really long time to get through it because you really don't need a lot for it. When I take all of my makeup off, I will use this as my double cleanse. It's so gentle and I think it would work great for sensitive skin. It doesn't strip away your skin. Your skin doesn't feel like that really tight dryness. I think the full size is $50 and to me that is something that I can definitely afford. I think for Christmas, maybe Maybe I'll splurge on Tatcha as like a little Christmas gift to myself or something. Formula of this is really gentle. It's like a liquidy formula that has very, very micro little exfoliating beads. It doesn't exfoliate your skin like really scrubbing it, but it's like a very gentle exfoliation. So if you have skin conditions like rosacea or acne, you want to use these kind of products where it's very gentle on your skin. I think this is one of the better cleansers I've used and it definitely just feels very clean and refreshing and the smell just really relaxes you. I don't know, I just love the smell of the Tatcha products. The next favorite of mine is the Bare Minerals Original Mineral Foundation. I'm in the shade Golden Medium. So I did a whole review on this, so I won't talk too much about it. There are multiple ways that you can use this. You can use this for more of a natural look or you can use it something more like full coverage today like I did. It gives your skin such a healthy glow and it's just so quick and easy. I think it's great for people who are on the go if you're traveling a lot. This is something that I definitely see myself taking to Japan. Just on those days where we are traveling from one place to another, I just want a little bit of makeup on. And I also think the shade is very beautiful as well. It's very warm and rich. If you guys didn't watch my review on it, you would know. I already love it. I got a comment saying like, this video is sponsored. And I'm like, girl, this video ain't sponsored. If Bare Minerals were to sponsor like one of my videos, I would literally die, okay? And I know that video did come off a little bit sponsory, but honestly, that is just how I do my reviews. I do it very, very thorough. So anyway, 
I've been loving this one. And my next favorites are from the Jaclyn Hill Her Vault collection. So I've been playing around with Ring the Alarm and Armed and Gorgeous in the past month. I'm making my way through Dark Magic, but that was towards the end of the month, so I don't want to mention that. So my eye look, just to break it down for you real quick, I took the shade Agent from Armed and Gorgeous and used that as my transition shade. I went back into the Ring the Alarm palette and I took the shade Mugshot for my outer corner color and then I took Boom as my inner lid color. After creating my three looks on each palette, I've been really, really enjoying these palettes. You guys know I love the original Jaclyn Hill palette, so my palettes came in good condition. The formula is great, so obviously I would love these palettes as well. Moving along to my next favorite is a blush from ColourPop. So I keep it in my large pan. A lot of you guys always ask me for the shade names for my single shadows, so I have this one and another one that I did post it on my Instagram and I should have saved it as my highlight, so I might redo it. But a lot of these shades are limited editions. These were from past collabs. So these are shadows that you can't really get anymore. But the thing that I wanted to mention is this blush, which is called 2D10. It's their pressed blush. It matches... Of course I dropped it. Well, what I was trying to say that it matches my top, but I've been loving this blush. I still love my Wet n Wild Color Icon blush because you guys know that is my favorite, but I've been loving this one and I definitely want to get more of their pressed blushes. Like I adore their formula. This one has been a really great start. I'm wearing it today. It's just like a nice neutral tone pink and it pairs well with a lot of makeup looks, cool tone looks, warm tone looks. Just everything. I think it's just like a good standard color. And by the time you guys are watching this video, I think today they are launching the Disney collection. I am planning to wake up 5 o'clock in the morning to get the collection. I'm still thinking if I want to get the whole collection or if I just want to get some items. Like you guys know, I don't love the super shock formula, but I love Disney and I love the princesses. So I'm still thinking about what I'm going to get. I'm definitely getting the eyeshadow palettes and the luxe lipsticks. I did pick up the full collection as well, which will be coming your way soon. I am just leaving for Japan so soon that I don't even know if I can get those videos up before I leave because I have the Novena palette that I want to do a 3D my look on. The Colourpop one is on its way. There's just a lot of stuff and I don't know if I can get it all done before Japan. Yeah, it's coming up really soon. I haven't even finished the Vault collection. I'm still working on Dark Magic and I still have Bling Boss to go. So I have a lot of palettes that I need to work my way through. If you guys don't know about my three demo looks, I film each look on a different day. I don't film my looks like three of them all in one day first. I don't think I can mentally do that. And second, my skin cannot keep up with that. It takes a lot of time for my three demo looks. So I'm just a little stressed around my new job, everything like that. It's just... It's just been a little bit hard. But anyway, the blush. That's what I was talking about, right? I think if you guys have been wanting to try like one blush from Colourpop, I would say give to the tan a go. Okay, now I'm moving on to kind of my last makeup favorite. It is from Sigma. It is their brush cleaning system. So I got sent this back like in April and I've been using it ever since, but I just haven't gotten around to mention it to you guys. So the first thing is their matte. It's called the Sigma Spa Express Brush Cleaning Matte. Pretty much you just stick this around your sink hole and one side is for face and one side is for your eye brushes. I've used these kind of brush mats in the past and sometimes they can be not as soft and they can damage your brushes and we don't want that because brushes are expensive. So this one is very gentle and I feel like it truly does work along with their brush cleaner. So I wash my brushes after every use with the bar soap which is just kind of like an instant cleansing. It's not really a deep cleansing. It's just to get the shadow off the brush so I can use different shadows after that. So once a week, every Sunday, I will use this to deep cleanse all of my brushes, especially my face brushes. And sometimes with brushes, they can get stained by very dark colors. For example, the Dark Magic palette is stained one of my Sigma brushes and this will get those stains out. I just think it's good hygiene to deep cleanse your brushes at least once a week or even every second week. These two just work really great together. They get all the gunk out, they get any stains out of your brushes so if you've been looking for a good system I would highly recommend Sigma and if you want to try it you can use my code to save some money off. So those were all of my beauty favorites. I have one last favorite that I want to share with you guys. I did mention it in my clothing haul. It is the jewelry that I'm wearing right now. But pretty much the girl behind the brand. I went high school with her. I actually 
like worked with her before as well. Um, she made her own jewelry line and she is the sweetest girl ever and I'm really proud of her how far she's come. When she first sent me these earrings and where she is now, like she has grown so much. If you have any questions about her company, just DM her. She's a very kind girl. She'll answer any of your questions. I thought I would just mention it again and show my support because I've been loving her earrings and I love seeing all the new designs that she's been coming out with. I think anyone could go on her Instagram page and see something they'd like. I believe if you do mention my name, she will like throw in a little something something for you. It was like the first 10 people. I'm not really sure how many people have gone to her using my name, but you can just say my name and give it a try. Maybe she'll throw something in for you. So yeah guys, this is all my favorites for the month of September. I mean, what a month and October is going to be a blast, but it's going to be even more hectic. Like ugh, as you grow older, you just get busier and busier and time literally just flies by and I'm, I make myself sound like I'm really old. Anyway, I hope you guys will have a good October. If you guys did enjoy my favorites, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know how to keep filming them. Also comment down below some of your favorites or if anything interesting happened in September, if anything interesting is gonna happen in October, what are you guys excited for? Let me know anything. I love chatting with you guys so leave them down below. And that is it for today's video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!